Okay then, last night was the beginning of NXT Season 3 and I'm here right now to tell you what I thought of it. We all knew it was going to be an all woman season of NXT. And um, I was quite intrigued, I was quite interested, I was looking forward to seeing this, just to see how they do it. Would they stick to the original format that they've used in NXT Season 1 and 2, or would they change it up a little bit because it's all women's? I've got to say, I was quite disappointed and I'm about to run down the card and tell you why. Started off with the introductions, now I'm not a big fan of the introduction spot that they do. Personally, I think it's a waste of time. You know, I wasn't a fan of it in Season 1 or Season 2 either, I probably just said that and I've just repeated myself. Anyway... But yeah, they start off, they go to the commentators at ringside, they're like, hey, welcome to NXT Season 3, blah, 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 it's going to be all divas, yeah, 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 we all love this, yeah, 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 let's keep going. Introductions, now it goes to Matt Strike and he goes, welcome the NXT pros, and then the pros come down like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a pro on NXT, I'm amazing, and, and here, here's my rookie, yeah, and then the rookies come out and... You know, it takes about five minutes just to get everyone out and it's just a proper waste of time. I understand that they need to get everybody into the ring and all the rookies into the ring or at least into the arena just so that we can get the reaction from the crowd because that's what this series is all about. It's about getting a reaction from these rookies from the crowd and building up from... It will start off on ep episode one of like quite quiet and no one's that interested. And then towards the end of the series the fans are really into it once these rookies have been on Raw once or twice, you know, and... The recaps have been shown on Raw and SmackDown, there's more interest. And anyway, so yeah, the introductions come on, I was just, yeah, 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 I know who's, I know who's going to be in it. Just for the sake of anyone who doesn't know, who's not seen my other videos, not seen any of the stuff so far, I'll quickly run through the list of rookies and pros. We've got um, Primo Cologne with AJ Lee, Gold Dust with Aksana, The Bella Twins with Jamie Keys, Alicia Fox with Maxine and Kelly Kelly with Naomi Knight. Now Vicky Guerrero was supposed to be with Aloisa but and there's rumours flying around the internet that she's been fired, released already. I mean, the announcement of her being signed by WWE came about 3-4 days before NXT Season 3 was, annou um, was announced and they announced who was going to be on it. So it was quite, um, <clears throat> quite a fast forward or... She was fast tracked into the, the one of the WWE's main shows. She didn't go to FCW. She went straight from obscurity straight into NXT, and then a few days later she was dropped from NXT. And I was wondering why. The kayfabe reason is that Vicky Guerrero fired her because, oh, Aloise is a giant, but she'll never be bigger than I am. That's what she was saying. Um, yeah, there's rumours floating around that some erotic pictures of her come to the WWE's attention, so that's why she was fired. Apparently, and you know. Um, what's she called? Mickey James also was released early, early this year. Was it this year or last year? Oh, this year I think. And uh, she has similar pictures as well, doesn't she? So, it might be why. There's a lot of women who've done Playboy, but they don't seem to frown on Playboy. They seem to frown on um, like indie pornography sort of thing. It's not really pornography, I suppose, but kind of is. Anyway, so yeah, Vicky Guerrero introduces her new. Rookie and her name is. Du, 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 du. I've forgotten it. That's how it, that's how interesting she is. I've I've forgotten her name. I don't know. Not written it down either. I don't think. Du, 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 du. Nope. Not written it down. So yeah, she's got a pro. She's she's quite a good looking girl to be honest. But um. Anyway, introductions. They all introduce themselves. They all get on the microphone. Get to say something about themselves. Vicky Guerrero's woman gets to go first and she basically says, I was the prom queen, but I was also a class clown. And she basically tries to say that, oh, I'm so attractive, I'm so good looking, but at the same time, I'm down to earth like everybody else and I'm more fun than everybody else as well because I can do all these pranks better than everyone else and I'm better looking than everyone else. Both sides of the spectrum got uncovered, basically. Um, yeah, the thing with all these promos, apart from one, apart from Maxine's, and maybe a bit of Naomi Knight's, they were all very... Um, game show like they're all very hi I'm uh, I'm Jamie and it is my dream to be on Big Brother this year and I, I can't wait I've wanted to be on Big Brother for so long and uh, you know it's just it's just been a dream of mine for so long and I, I've, I've worked really hard over the last few years I've gone to all the auditions and and all this and, and now finally here and nobody's gonna stop me I'm gonna win and I'm gonna win this contract you know what I mean yeah. Oh, give me a break. Cut wrestling promos. They all cut the same sad ass story that we see on all these television shows. Not, I don't want to see that on WWE. I want to see wrestling promos. And Maxine was the only one who cut any sort of wrestling promo. Oh, well, 
Naomi Knight cut a sort of wrestling promo. Maxine was a decent wrestling promo in my opinion. She basically put down the others a little bit and basically she made it seem more wrestling like and not like game show like, Oh I'm really excited to be here and I, I can't wait and all this. She made it sound like it was a promo rather than just a plug in herself, if you know what I mean. So yeah. Then um, Mark Stryker gets on the microphone and he's all excited because we're going to have the first competition of NXT Season 3 and it is, uh, it's, a it's a dance off. And um, yeah, fucking just rubbish. Um, Michael Cole got in the ring, danced with the first two women. Tony Schimmel got in the ring, danced with the next two women. And then, Ma and what's he called? Josh Matthews got in the ring and danced with the next two women. Um, wasn't even entertaining. If I'm being honest, um, if I was watching this on TV, I would have probably turned the channel. If, it were, if I wasn't a wrestling fan, I'm a wrestling fan, so I was going to stick with it no matter what, because I'm an idiot. But um, if I was just a casual fan and I turned that on, I would have been like, watch this shit, turn it off, whatever, not, not watching that. Rubbish, uh, Naomi Knight won the dance off, and they did it off crowd noise, and you know, obviously fixed, because you can't tell off crowd noise, you just got to. Unless you have a really, really fine tuned ear, or it's really different, it's a boon cheer. But anyway, Naomi Knight got the win. Then we had um, the first match of the evening Kelly Kelly and Naomi Knight beat Alicia Fox and Maxine in a tag match which was actually better than the Raw tag matches that the Divas have, but at the same time, it wasn't really. Um, it wasn't entertaining. The knockouts do better, and. I'm sure Shimmer do better, I've never seen a Shimmer show so I can't say but I'm sure they do a lot better than this. But yeah, so they're not really as good as their rivals so... Anyway, it was a bit of a botched ending as well and Naomi Knight got the pin over Maxine and then Alicia Fox and Kelly Kelly started brawling to the outside and I don't know if it was um if they were shooting on each other or not, but Kelly Kelly looks really angry at Alicia Fox, and she's not a good actor at all, so I think this was uh, a bit of a shoot here. She looked really angry at her. The referee sort of, um, got in, sort of got in the way and broke him up a little bit, raised the hands of Kelly Kelly and Naomi, and then sort of while that was going, while that was going on, before the referee raised the hands, Naomi then went to pin uh, Maxine again, and the, re the, ring, the ring bell had already rung, the, ref the referee had already counted to three. The match was over and she went to pin her again. And it was a bit of a, a botch like the end of NXT last week. But a lot of people are going to bury this. But this wasn't as bad as the end of NXT last week. The way Titus O'Neil totally no-sold um, MVP's Yakuza kick. And the way that fucking Alex Riley put down... Um, what's he called? Percy Watson. And threw him out of the ring and then... 10 seconds later, a minute later, they just stood side by side, it was just like, oh, what are you doing? Anyway, this this wasn't as bad as that, but again, it was a botch, and you should not be doing this, not even on an indie show, I wouldn't, I wouldn't expect this, off the little shows that I've seen in town halls in uh, in England, you know, the little shows where they'd rip off the WWE characters, I, I saw 619 Mysterio Jr., some guy in a Rey Mysterio mask, anyway, you don't want to know that, I don't, but anyway, yeah, it was a botched ending, and I thought that Kelly and Alicia had legit heat at this point, We'll pro I'll probably find out in the next few days, like, oh, reports say that blah, 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 that this happened, this happened. Anyway, I noticed that afterwards, they had Kelly and that, and um, Alicia Fox, you know, they have the rookies sat at the top of the, the pros, sorry, sat at the top of the stage. They had them sat at opposite sides, and they had everybody else in between them, so maybe there was something there. Anyway, next up, we had a flag competition. I actually like this one. It's a lot better than the uh, carry the barrel competition that they've had the men do. Basically, the... Um, they had the five divas stand at the top of the stage and they had no, six divas stand at the top of the stage and then five flags hanging on a thing like on a, a T sort of crossbow sort of crossbar sort of thing even and uh, yeah all the divas ran up to it Jamie Keys was the one who couldn't get it they basically went all the way around so one diva got knocked out at every stage the last two were was it Maxine and Naomi Knight either way Naomi Knight won so she'd already won the dance off she got the pinfall in the tag match, and now she's won the flag competition. Does that tell you something? That tells me that she's going to be really pushed. Anyway, final match of the evening. Primo Clone and AJ Lee beat Goldust and Aksana 
in a really short match, not too exciting. And then after the match, Vicky Guerrero and her rookie came out. And I'm still trying to remember her name. I just can't remember it. Anyway, Vicky says that oh, I want I wanted to say her intro again because at the start of the show she got to say her intro twice. The first one she was like oh, I'm the prom queen and all that, and then the second one she was like oh, I'm really excited because uh, Vicky Guerrero is my pro. That was it was sort of alright, but um. Yeah, this this was, at the end was good because Vicky Guerrero got to show her he really good heel side where she's just that really annoying bitch. Um, so yeah, Primo and AJ get the win. AJ and Primo stood in the the ring. Vicky and a rookie come out. She demands that a rookie gets to say her speech again. Primo says, "Wait a minute, this is AJ's time." AJ says, "Yeah, why don't you leave, Vicky?" Vicky says something like, "Who do you think you are? Who do you know who I am?" Type of spiel. Then um. Yeah, basically AJ pushes the ro the other rookie into Vicky Guerrero because Vicky Guerrero sets the rookie on AJ Lee pretty pretty naff to be honest. But you know what do you expect from divas. All in all, I wasn't too infused by the show. I'm gonna keep watching. I'm gonna. It's only a 45 minute show, I think, if you take out the advert. So it's not time consuming. I can put it on while I'm you know doing something else while I'm working out or something. But um, yeah. Not a really interesting show. If you've not seen it, I wouldn't have got out my way to see it. And um, my picks to win this season. I like Maxine and I like Naomi Knight. I think the two of those could go far. AJ Lee also. The problem with these is that none of them are really amazing. They're all okay. AJ Lee is a really good in-ring worker, but she's just so thin. It, it looks like she's just going to get hurt, and I don't really like watching her wrestle, if you know what I mean, because of that. But anyway, that's my thoughts of NXT. I'm, I think I'll be back next on Friday or Saturday, because over this weekend we've got a Dragon Gate USA show, and do -do 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 -do. what's the Ring of Honor show? I forgot what the Ring of Honor show is called. Glory by Honor, is it? I forgot. Um, yeah, so I'm going to preview that, I think. Trying not to embarrass myself too much, because I don't really know too much about what. I know a little bit about ROH, I don't know a lot about its history, but I know what's going on right now, so I'll uh, see what I can do with that. I don't know who's booking it nowadays, Adam Pearce got sacked, didn't he, so I don't know what's going on there. If they've replaced him or not. Anyway, um, yeah, I might be back with a Dragon Gate USA review, if I manage to watch it on Saturday. Is it Friday night? Yeah, anyway. With that, I'm out. Blabbered on for too long, aren't I? See you later.